how your uh, dad does you know, heads this up on the, on the grilling and tailgating and everything. Talk about what that means to you as a family and as a community. Uh, it means a lot. I mean, to know some that a community of, I mean, a lot of people. I mean, we're a small town, obviously, but m probably more than half, I'll say half, come out and support us and drive, like Abe said earlier, a couple hours, no matter how far, just to come support us and cook for us and show their support means a lot to all of us players. You know, last week you guys were in Hartsorn four hours away and then you guys got to tailgate after the game, after winning, and, and then drive back. What was that like? Well, it was fun. I mean, after the game, we were celebrating the locker room. The next thing you know, telling us, hey, let's go eat. And next thing you know, we're waiting in line, getting some fajitas, good cooked food. I mean, it's better than getting your everyday little hamburgers from McDonald's or or corn dog or something else because, I mean, Mexican food just does hit the spot. <laughs> you know, there's a large Hispanic uh, community here, and, and, the, and that culture has a lot of family value stuff. How much does that play into what, what your parents do? Uh, it means a lot because, I mean, my parents are very – kind people I mean they'll they don't care who you are I mean if you're good people they'll accept you like family and treat you like family I mean you come over they'll tell you to make yourself at home they'll get you anything you want anything you need and it just comes into play because I mean the community is just like a family we're all family together hey but uh, you know you guys get some really good food every week uh, from your from a bunch of parents talk about that um I, I feel it's great because I mean we all being Mexican I mean, it's something that we feel like helps us win. I mean, when we we come off the field hungry and uh, feel like all the fans have came out and supported us and everything and made the big long drive to the game and they were still willing to stay past 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night to feed us. That just shows us how, how much they're with us and willing to support us through thick and thin whether we win or lose. You know, they started this a few years back when you guys were in the state championship game. How much closer has this brought the community? Oh, it's brought us together. There's, I feel like the fans have just came through all year. I mean, most of the time they don't think we're going to win. I mean, Kingfisher Week, no one thought we were going to win, and they pulled through and kept supporting us and showing us that it, everything's possible as long as we come together. Coach, just uh, start with what these group of parents do for you guys as a uh, team. Well, you know, they're, they're a big support system for our team, and uh, I know our kids love it. Of course, we love it as coaches also because – you know, it's just something additional besides the the grind of football all the time, you know, week in, week out, especially when you play 13, 14, 15 games in a season. So it's nice to have those little those little extras that they bring uh, to this football program. You know, when they started this, did you ever think you would see something grow like this? No, actually not, you know, and it started, you know, several years back, but it just continues to grow every year and, you know, new things that they come up with and new ideas that they come up with. but. You know, the big tailgating that they do before the game and, and try to get the community and our fans all involved in it. And then the fact that they'll feed our kids after the game, you know, it's it's a neat it's a neat deal for us. You know, this is a lot of the community coming together. How much closer has this community gotten and, and what kind of support is this for you guys' as team? Well, over the last eight years now, you know, it's really grown very tight. And, you know, Hennessy's always been a football community, but I know they had some lean years there. But, you know, we've been on a roll now for about eight years, and and it's really brought the community together, I think. And it's always a neat way to start your school year off, you know, when you've got a successful football program because it brings a lot of school spirit and just brings a lot of positive attitude, and, and everybody's got something to look forward to, you know, on Friday night. So it kind of gets you through that first semester pretty quick, it seems like. Mr. Wymore, you guys uh, started this a few years ago. Talk about what led to this. Um, we uh, made it to the state finals in 2010, and everybody wanted to tailgate. And uh, it just—it was just a big. We cooked a, a pig, and we cooked all kinds of stuff, and we probably served six or seven hundred people that day. And it, it just kind of carried over from there and become a tradition that we've built in with these deep runs in the playoffs. That just something to support the kids and the community, get everybody there to to help out. You know, more more people in the stands. You know, if they'll come and eat, they can stay and cheer for the game. You, know, you guys said you basically told me the other day that you like to like to cook and you like to eat and you like to get together in this community. Talk about just kind of that feeling in general. Just, uh, growing up, we I mean Sunday afternoon was always a big deal at the family's house. You know everybody would come over. It wasn't my family; it was everybody's family. If you ever left our house hungry, it was your fault. <laughs> and uh, you know you didn't. If you got to be told you can have something, you'd go away hungry. You know if it's there, eat it. 
so just continued with the and like Juan said, you know, the Hispanics have a, a big family culture, so it just blends in well with just small town communities like Hennessy is just you know everybody wants to get together. We you know every week it's it's who's going to bring desserts, who's going to bring the drinks, who's going to bring chips, what what are we cooking, where are we cooking at, what time we get there, when are we leaving, and it, it's just a big family affair. How much joy does this give you guys as a, as parents and, and community members? It, it's it's a very big pride thing that to, to know that we can travel like last week, travel four hours to Nawada and, and and still have as many fans and, and cheering sections we had in that big a turnout because they they're there to support the boys and and that's what it's all about is just supporting the teams.